What's going on, guys? Welcome to uh, Turtle Town, population 1007. Uh, I'm your host, Theodore Esquire the Third. It's Ted Theodore Logan. And we have another Dominaria draft here for you today. It went exactly as well as I'd expect for your first car in draft. Yeah. That's uh, that's how I felt about it as well. Uh, I think this Cloudery Sphinx is probably where we want to be, but I'm, I, dude, I am on the white train all day. Yeah, replicate. I think Misha's off replicator is pretty much a big trap. Could also be just vicious offering. Vicious offering is very, very good. Uh, you know, so here's the thing, Misha's off replicator. Uh. Makes you the promise of making a million tutus, but you don't actually make a million tutus. Oh, get past a Quende. A Quende. Yeah, I'll take Quende. That was a pretty easy pick. There was nothing good in that pack. The world saving song? You mean like We Are the World? We are the world. We are. Remember that song? When everyone, like literally every celebrity got together and sang We Are the World? What up, Disco Biscuits? Wakwende well, forever. I'm a fan. Wakwende. Urza's Ruinous Blast. Man, we're getting all of the gas. No, just kidding. We're going to take this Wild Onslaught because, boy, is that an OP card. <clears throat> I'm intriguing to get a double Quende, triple Fury deck in draft. Why do you need double Quende? Why can't one Quende do it? Oh, because Bill and Ted had to do it. Nah, that's fair. I did make a Ted Theodore Logan reference. That's fair. Do you know they made a second We Are the World with Lil Wayne and Justin Bieber? I imagine, yeah, that did not have the same impact. I also didn't know that. Um, dreaming of a double Quende. Just like the one I used to know. Oh, Pegasus Charger? Deal. Oh, Fungal Plots? Fungal Sean Plots? Okay. I guess I'll take that. There's nothing really else in this pack. <coughs> Excuse me. What's Kicker Elf? I don't even know what that is. What are you saying right now? Are you drunk? We could go blue-white, but I don't think there's reason to give up on a Wild Onslaught just for, like, a divination or whatever nonsense was in that pack. The token zone. Hope you guys are all 420 friendly. Well played. Oh, now this pack is bad. I'll take the Arcanist in hopes of getting uh, turn three call the cavalry, because that's pretty good. We as Canadians have stripped Bieber of his Canadian style. He's yours now. No, no. No, no. No, no. I do not accept. Just like the ones we used to know. I'll take Ryan Reynolds now. I'll also take Ryan Gosling. Either of the Ryans are okay with me. Cold water snappy. Hmm.
How do you feel about white red? Uh, I mean, I feel fine about most archetypes so long as you can get the cards for those archetypes. I don't like multiple Banalish Honor guards. I'll be honest with you. Sarah Disciple might be good, but oh boy, am I not impressed with that card, especially when we only have Quende. I'll take the Honor Guard. At least it does the thing. Memorial. Glider. I'm going to take all these creatures just because of Fungal Plots. It makes them decent. Actually, I can see they can Short Sword in that one pack. I'm actually considering playing this charge in this deck. Rez, I was playing I was playing slivers for like three hours before this. I literally started at two PM and it's now five PM. <clears throat> I don't hate this this opening so far. I don't love it though. There we go. There we go. That's the open we're looking for. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna take it, and we're gonna hopefully play it on a Quen day. <laughs> but this would be great to come back. I'll even take a sergeant or a jousting lance, but yeah, that's not really close. Marwin and a jugs. Ambitious offering. Marwin's actually... I like Marwin because she does ramp us uh, to things like Wild Onslaught, but she also can wear a Blackblade Reforged, which is actually pretty relevant here. I don't think she's as strong as Time of Ice or a Vicious Offering, but I like the deck that she's helping us build. Thanks for helping us build this deck. Here's a Cloud Reader Sphinx. We could have taken Time of Ice into Cloud Reader Sphinx. That would have been pretty good. Was there a Reproach in that pack? God, I just must have blacked out. <clears throat> I don't know why that happens sometimes. Sometimes I have a selective vision where I just miss cards in packs. Yeah, it's just Ancient Animus here. It's weird because you're like looking at a pack and you and you like hone in on certain cards, and then you like actually miss that there are other cards in the pack. It's very strange. I don't know what to attribute that to, but I do imagine that it happens <clears throat> to you know to others as well. Elfheim Druid, yes, please. Also, I like having all these creatures because fungal plots. <clears throat> Elfheim Druid into Wild Onslaught. Oh yeah, Elfheim Druid into. The Sapperling migration will undoubtedly get. Rightio. Yeah, it's in. It's because I think in, in real life you're able to, like, you physically have to look through all the cards, right? So, like, there's no real way to miss something because you can't skip to the back of the pack without looking at the front of the pack first. Whereas on Magic Online, you're able to, like, just... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of glance at everything. You know, you're just like, okay, I gave it a good, good look over. Okay, I'm going to hone in on this card and this card because they stand out to me. Oh, Mending of Dominaria. That's got to be better than Gorger here, right? Just like the ones... Why do I have these Christmas songs stuck in my head? It's very strange. <clears throat> I feel like how many other card advantage cards are super crucial to good. I agree with you completely. I think you're able to pull ahead in card advantage in Dominaria. Uh, it benefits you. It favors you highly. I'm actually tempted to take this Primordial Worm because it actually crushed us at certain in certain matches. It's not Adamant Will. This pack's actually pretty meh, but... I like a worm. 
Also, in like 10 days, the Vintage Cube is coming out, which is pretty exciting. Oh, June 13th in seven days. Oh, next Wednesday exactly is Vintage Cube. <gasps> I'm so hyped. I am the hypest you'll ever see. This is me at maximum hype, ladies and gentlemen. I guess we'll just take 3-1. It goes with Pegasus Charger. Uh, it's doo-doo. Is this league or an actual draft league? Isn't league, aren't leagues actual drafts? It's not a fake draft, right? Whatever, maybe we, maybe we get a track sauce, right? Power and cubes makes for unfun games. I disagree. I think you have to accept that going into the vintage cube, and once you accept that, um, you're able to do just as cool things. I think I think so. I love the the modern cube because it doesn't have that same that same uh, ridiculous game swing. But when someone goes like Lotus, uh, Mox, Land, Turn One, like grave titan or something and that's like that's obviously on the low end of the power spectrum you just kind of shrug and you're like eh, it's a cube what are you gonna do you know oh sergeant came back that's great for us um i'll take the elephant let's take guardians actually oh all right <clears throat> Yeah, like, I just accept, once you go into the draft, you're like, hey, I accept that I'm going to do some broken stuff in this cube, and some broken stuff is going to get done to me. And that's cool. Um, once you accept that fact, the cube is awesome. You just have some really good games with some of Magic's most powerful and iconic cards. This is starting to feel like the Frank special. I agree with you. Although, I like our deck so far. Interaction is greater than broken things, but they're not mutually exclusive. Like, you don't have to have only one or the other. Or rather, um, not, not, not you don't have to have one or the other, but, like, you don't only have to have one, is basically what I'm saying. Like, you can have an interactive cube and a more broken things cube, and you can still enjoy both. Like, just because one isn't present in both of them doesn't mean you can't enjoy both of them for different reasons. Like, I don't have to have every single game of my... And also, that's that's not to say that the, the the Vintage Cube isn't even interactive. Like, there's plenty of ways to interact in the Vintage Cube. It's disingenuous to say there's not, just because there is broken things. <clears throat> Are you going to Origins or Gen Con? I have not... I don't have any plans to go to either of those, no. Sarah Angel's pretty good for a second pick, but... Please just try to get a pierce. Yeah, I uh, I would not mind having a, a pierce of sky here. I agree with you, Chad. And this is why I emphasize it so heavily. I think pierce of sky and broken bond slash invoke are so important. And someone in the YouTube comments made an argument today. They were like, I think you should have taken this other card that you'll probably play over this pierce of sky. And I was like, no, <laughs> it's not good. Most of the time I take Call the Cavalry here, but because we have Black Blade, I'm actually tempted to take this Baird. Also, Baird is better with Fungal Plots, but Call is better with like Wild Onslaught. Baird is better with Mending. I'm going to take the Baird here, because we can always get another Call the Cavalry. We might not get another Baird. Ooh, Danatha. That's exactly what we want in this deck. All right. Return of Artifact. This is weird because <clears throat> I think I've actually said this before. Whenever you cast a Historic spell, this triggers. So this Daring Archaeologist has a predilection towards Historic spells. Sagas, Legendaries, Artifacts, etc. But when it comes into play, you can only return an Artifact from your hand. You can't return a Saga or a Legendary card, which is weird. I'm going to take it. It gives us Black Blade, Ace Deer Glider, 
Guardians of Coilos, and it's still just a 3-3 three, three for... 3-3 three, three for 4 that does a thing. Which is not terrible. We have no way, no real way to splash Arvad right now. I'm not going to add like two swamps for an Arvad. It's not bad, but I'm just not not really in position to, to do that. <clears throat> You're a flavor thing. Got him. God, what's it like getting wrecked that badly? It's got to be painful, right? I'm sorry, Jake. That was rough, dude. You'll recover. You'll get past this. I want to take another Guardians, because we have actually a pretty sweet Guardian. Uh, Gift of Growth is actually nice. Thank you. I could probably play Gift over Charge, especially with Wild Onslaught, but I don't know if we actually need both anyway. Ash Maniel, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt Eye Brood. Hey, pierce this guy. <clears throat> exactly what we wanted. Now we just want an invoker, a broken bond, and then we'll call it a day. Is gut shot to the hearts too gut um too soon? Um, well, I won ten thousand dollars of that pro tour, so no, no, I don't really. You could have mentioned it to me that day, and I would have been like, "Yeah, that was a good, that was a good moment." You chat. You chatted me to a crisp. I. I like. I'm a good chatter. I like chatting you up. How often would you pack one, pick one, cold water snapper? Never. And that's not to say it's not good enough. I just don't think you ever have to. You'll never need to. And I mean, if there's a situation where you have no other better cards, maybe. But it's not really a card where you're like, "Ooh, thank goodness I have this in my opening pack," because I'll never see another one. Uh, when I top aided the Pro Tour, yes, I, I won 10k. That is correct. Apparently there's, I thought there was a gut shot, uh, command, but there is not. Did you, <laughs> did you just clip that got him moment? That's hilarious. This, is a, this deck looks pretty sweet, actually. <clears throat> I don't know if I should be offended or not by calling me a one-time wonder. Uh, any other artifacts that we care to bring in? No. I think Honor Guards are actually pretty good here when we have Danitha, Marwin, Quende, Baird. Is it artifact creature or legendary creatures or permanents? Legendary creature, okay. I also cut up the part where you apologize to make you look like a monster. That's, uh, I guess that's fair. Um, what do you mean? Can you play at the pro tour? Just main deck Pierce. We all know what's going to happen. Yeah, you're not wrong. <clears throat> they're just going to open the Lyra and then they're going to play. I mean, I'm allowed. Why would I? I mean, I don't understand the question. Am I allowed to? If I qualify for the Pro Tour, I'm allowed to play in the Pro Tour. Uh, I just don't play in many GPs or PTQs. So <clears throat> I have not cared about qualifying for a long time.
Melissa and I have been together for like three years. That was a, that was quite a while ago. <clears throat> I will mulligan this hand. And we'll keep it because if there's a land on top, we are in good shape. That is fine. Uh, it was PT Oath of the Gate Watch, not Gate Crash. The other Gate Pro Tour. My topic was pre cam quarter. My topic was two years ago. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> uh. Oh, so that makes more sense by by not by choice by uh, one time by one time uh, one time wonder by not by choice. Yeah, that makes totally that makes much more sense now. Uh, the format was modern. It was a uh, modern pro tour. I was playing the the Eldra one of the Eldra. I played I played an Eldrazi deck. <clears throat> Which was like the breakout deck of that format of that of that pro tour. So. <laughs> How come you don't tell me all your personal deals? Big fan. I'll block. Oh, man. Oh, boy. Do you have an Adamant Will? It's almost worth it. Because I already drew a card here. They know what's happening, right? They have to have Adamant Will. But if they use it on this, it's fine. We have Fungal Plots. Okay. I'll just play Danith the next turn. If this is your Adamant Will, that's totally fine. I'll deal with it. That was during Eldrazi Winter. That is correct. That is correct. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Gideon's Reproach. That's actually better. I I'd rather you get rid of that now than use it on my <clears throat> beautiful, beautiful, legendary gentle lady. We'll have an artifact here. Then we can just get it back with Daring Archaeologist. Also, Daring Archaeologist seems good when we have things like, uh, we have a ton of historic spells, so. Wow, look at all these lands they're giving us here. This is great. Can we just go Fungal Plots, eat a guy? Can we stop arguing about the, uh, the cube, please? That's a little, it's getting a little aggressive here. Well, little Timmy, sit down, and I'll tell you right about. I'll tell you all about the Eldrazi's. Yep, that's pretty obnoxious. I'm actually pretty amazed at this Howling Golem and uh, how much damage it's done. Is it okay in your opinion to smoke weed at work if you still do a good job at work? I mean, that's. In my opinion, that has everything to do with the policies of your job. If your job doesn't allow it, then no, because it's your job. But if your job is like, yeah, it's fine, don't worry about it, then yeah, do, do what you got to do. But, I mean, if your job is like, no, don't, don't do it. <laughs> Timmy, one more seven. Okay, I'm listening. <laughs> if your job is like, no, don't do it, and you do it anyway, just because you're like, I can do, I can do a fine job anyway. Um... Well, I mean. Yeah, what Nobeat said. <clears throat> Chris, I also feel like I'm 36 going on 72. I feel exactly, I know exactly how you feel. What are the odds this resolves? Absolute zero. Wow. 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 
blink of an eye? Time of ice at instant speed. <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Well, this match has been a, been a blast. Remember that time we were going to board in, uh, we were going to bring in Pierce the Sky in the main deck? Memories. Not sure how I come back from this this nonsense. No closer. <laughs> you better be nice to me. I'll choose your nursing home. Yeah, workplaces could still be demand their employees be clean of weed, but like as soon as weed is legal in the U.S., it's gonna be you're gonna see some movement as far as like workplaces being clean of weed because that's like the same as being clear of drinking, and drinking is arguably worse than uh, than marijuana. I'm just gonna concede. Like we can play this guy, but then we still take six in the air, and then we're at three, so we have to deal with both those guys in one turn, and that ain't happening. Uh, Pierce the sky comes right on in. Well, their deck is insane. Rats are with this one and not in legendary sword. You laughed at that rat spell. I, I mean, what? Wait, what? What? What, what rat spell did I laugh at? Because I'm pretty sure I laughed at Urza's ruinous blast, and I still would. Wow. Yeah, the problem is we didn't have the legends to play at the time. We also didn't have a legend on board last game, so it wouldn't have done anything. But other than those two facts, it's yeah, it's not a blank for sure. I'm not I'm not saying the card is terrible. I'm just saying like <clears throat> it also would have kept their wrath alive and it would have kept their uh, time of ice alive. I no, it's not, yeah, time of ice doesn't go away anyway, but I mean I'm also just here to watch me play magic. That's a good point. Say the song you want to hear. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy. This is a great. This is a great. <clears throat> See you later, idiot. Not my opponent, the Raph, of course, but. Why well, am I eating peanut butter by itself? Uh, sometimes, so Matthew Ori, the thing about that is sometimes you hit low points in your life and uh, you're just in one now. But you'll get out of it, buddy. I have faith in you. Also, peanut butter is delicious. So, yeah, you got that going for you. I see. These don't look like slivers. This is this falls under the Dominaria draft category of our of our Twitch stream.
I think Sliver Deck went fine. <clears throat> if you're eating peanut butter with a spoon, it's okay. With a fork, not okay. Finger? I'm unsure. Sure. Tap my Pegasus. Land off the top. That's... That's pretty good, but I guess they just tap her next turn. That does what with Animus? I mean, she becomes a 3-3 three -three with Ancient Animus, so... No Birdland? What are you guys saying right now? What's even happening right now? I mean, if we Danitha plus Equip, they just actually tap her down next turn with Time of Ice, and we're just going to have to recast her. But we can't recast her next turn because she'll be on, on the battlefield. So I'd rather just cast her next turn after they've used all the other time, time of Ice triggers. So, yeah, I guess we could hold it. We could hold us back a turn by doing that. I guess that's fine. <clears throat> it does let us animus next turn, which is which is nice. Next turn, fight that bird woman. Okay, yeah, that's fair. That's a good choice. I wish we had uh wish we had haste, that'd be great. <clears throat> well now we guarantee don't lose any sapperlings, so that's nice. Oh my god, I thought this was an icy for a second. I got real sad. I guess we'll take five. <clears throat> also, Ancient Animus gaining us a million life is pretty good here. Oh, I don't care about that. I will gladly trade this guy for this guy when we're at 20 now. I'll also trade a 1-1. One, one. What have I done? What have I just done? Oh boy, that was bad. Oh boy, what have I done? All right, well, so long, sappy boys. God, I totally forgot about the stupid time of ice. That's so sad. I'm <laughs> learning the tricks from the X. I like to keep you guys apprised uh, of all the new developments. That's actually fine. We lost three one ones. Not the end of the world. I mean, I think our ten ten first strike vigilant life linker will uh, be able to. I think that losing the Sapperlings was the biggest, the worst part, but I totally forgot about the time of ice. Mm. 
man. Good times, good times. I mean, to be fair, at the Pro Tour, I wasn't actually uh, actively commenting and, and chatting with uh, multiple hundred people at the same time. So, you know, a little, little bit different, but I I hope uh, hope we can hope we can move past this amicably. I think our deck is good. I think we just submit here. Huge fan, but if you pay more attention to your opponent's saga, you wouldn't nearly lost the game. Huge fan. <laughs> this is one of my favorite memes, actually. Oh, boy. I will keep this hand. <clears throat> it's a little slow, but we can do things. They went to five. Their deck seemed good, so going to five, I am uh, I'm okay with. Oh, a two drop. How sweet it is to be drawing. We did, we did, we did gem some modern earlier. Oh, is that a thing we want better? No, we want to play that post Marwin to get the counter. That seems good. Oh, biscuits. And he gets le and he gets a legendary buff. Woo! This hand is gasoline. Can we draw a planes just so we can go elf him druid into Baird? Tap two for no. All right, I guess we just win the game. And we would have drawn it. All right. Well, that's the thing. Good games. Is it okay to be poor today instead of getting a real meatball sub, cooking some pre-made meatballs, tossing them in marinara sauce, and then putting them on basic white bread, adding some cheese? <laughs> Good enough. Um, so really this question comes down to what kind of cheese we're talking about. Uh, if it's American cheese, no. Uh, and I'll actually have to ban you. If it's like a mozzarella or a provolone, I won't say anything. I won't tell Matthew Ori. Oh, this hand is hot trash. This hand is okay. Italian shredded cheese? Okay, we can do. We can work with this. I like Corsair into Quende. That's pretty good. And then into Glider. We can go this guy into Glider next turn. No plays. I'm surprised Quentin doesn't cost two white. He feels like a two white card. A fifth kid on the way? Woof. Man, you got your work cut out for you, Dolman. No blocks. How sweet it is to be loved by you. I almost had a kid one. Scariest two hours of my life. Wow. Yeesh. Wow, look at this deck. Look at this. Look at this deck.
Yeah. We need to land there. We didn't get one. Toasting the bread is a good play. I agree with that. Yes, I definitely saw Andrea draft the Karn and the Teferi at the PT. Ah, oh, Deep Freeze, wonderful. I almost had a... Yeah, we're having a good time. Can't be blocked, can't be blocked flying, and I'm not going to block it. All right. Yeah, that's nice. Pretty sure this game's over as well. Man, we're just losing all these game ones pretty handily. Again, Pierce the Sky seems pretty good here. Whoa, that was really loud. Whoa! Paul with a $40 Patreon pay, pay, pledge patronage? I don't know. It's, it's a confusing thing to say. Either way, thank you so much if you're watching the stream. If not, really appreciate it. Either way. Got him. I mean, we're at eight. We got to gain some life here. If we can draw Danitha into Blackblade, I would give the thumbs up to this deck. But the odds do not look like they're in our favor. All right. Well, this is obnoxious. I think we're actually just dead here, right? Five, six, seven. This guy gets flight. I guess we could chump block. That seems five, six, seven. We could also go to one. Then attack for six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's where you want to be. <laughs> the worm sucks, but big fan. Oh my god, I hate you guys so much. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, what is this deck? This deck is like the deck we've always tried to draft, and it works out a lot, but not this time. Well, for them, I guess it worked. So I guess it worked out this time, too, but just not for us. Is that what I'm saying? I don't know. Either way, Pierce the Sky is coming in. And even if they... Uh, we can actually save it for a non-flyer and kill one of their, their guys that get the... Get the beat. I will play first. Sand seems fine. Give me a Danitha or, or a Quende for this bad boy.
Well, that's not going to do it. But we do have five lands. We're two lands away from... It's always hilarious hearing about other countries' work policies because you're like, oh, wow, you worked halftime at 65 hours a week uh, or 65 hours, a, 65 hours a month and you get $3,000 to take care of the kids and stay at home, Dad? Oh, well, must be nice. Then my opponent's like, hey, big fan. <laughs> Keep the meme alive. Oh... Oh hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill everything you play, but uh big fan. Big fan. Must be knights. Do you get paid more per month though? That feels like something I, I would like to see some proof on. Do you think I have a little trickerino? The answer is I do. If they play a white here, a green here, it'd be actually hilarious because they can just play anything. Uh, do they actually have... I, I like to see proof on whether the U.S. actually gets paid more. Because, oh my god, Zora said, U.S., you also get paid more per month. And I don't know if that's the case. I mean, you have to prove that, right? Like, that's not... You can't just be like, can you prove that? Uh, yes, they do get paid more. Oh, oh now I believe you, because that was proof. I understand now. Where were you last turn? I'm just recalling. Oh, okay. I see. I'm just relocating to the U.S. and I'm going from 52% plus 21% fat, and now Virginia, I'm going for 22 to 7% fat. Oh, you get paid more in the sense that like you are you're paying less taxes, sure. But are the are is your salary actually more though? I mean, because that's a little different. Hmm, salary stay roughly the same. Interesting. Interesting. Six. Oh boy. All right, that's the game. Bounce tap. We have one blocker. They attack with everything. Even if we block here, that we take six, seven, eight, nine, and then they have another six in the air next turn. So nice, nice deck. Yeah, I mean, like, so here's the thing about that. Like, a 40% pay raise is, is really sweet. Um, unless you have to go to the hospital, I think. Or unless you really get sick and have to take time off work. Or unless you have a child and you need someone to watch your child. Or unless you have kids and they have to go to school. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm a bigger fan of having access to these things. Look, I'm, I had back surgery about 10 years ago. Um, and I literally had to get a job. It was in excruciating pain. I have no idea what caused it. And even when I went to the doctor... I have no idea. They, like they said, we don't know what the cause was. They said, you have the back of a 54-year-old man. And I was like, that's not what I want to hear at this age. And um, I literally didn't have insurance at the time because I was a student. And so I had to go to Starbucks and work on my feet for part-time, just like 20, 25 hours a week, just to get insurance. I had to work 90 days. And I was in excruciating pain. I couldn't stand up for more than five minutes without like being in crippling pain. I would have to bend over to like take some of the pressure off. 
and I had to work 20 hours a week, 25 hours a week for 90 days just to get insurance to afford back surgery. Um, and because of that, I will throw whatever money needs to be thrown into the community pot so that other people don't have to experience that. So I will gladly take a pay cut so that other people don't have to live in absolute agony because they don't have insurance. And maybe that's just because I had the experience of it and I know what it was like and it was just a miserable experience and it changed my life. But, um, you know, I... You know, I had that experience, so uh, that's how I'm. That's how I view it. I like, oh man, either one of these on turn four into Black Blade. Oof. Like, so me personally, like, this is like no, 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 I, I want to say no judgment on anyone, but like, the fact is, like, people who don't support universal healthcare either don't know what it's like to other, for other people to be in pain or, you know, for yourself to even be in, be in pain and not be able to get that medical attention. Um, or they're just extremely selfish and you know I think it's just one of those two things that's my that's my humble opinion Quindy bloody Quindy alright go I agree with you. I don't think you need to have that radically changing experience to empathize with other people. I don't think you do. But apparently some people do. And it's so mind-blowing to me. I'm just like, but you can take care of Like, this person needs help. Why can't? Why don't you just want to help them? I don't understand. Do, 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 do. Is this just win the game if this resolves? Oh dear God. I'll give this guy float because if you want to block here, that's fine. Uh, otherwise you block here and that's worse. So you're going to have to block with the bird. Either way. Yeah, Black Blade's a hell of a card. All we saw was one bird, so I'm not going to bring him Pierce to the Sky just yet. I'll keep this hand. Again, we got the Honor Guard into the Marwin. No, this is now a healthcare stream. <laughs> Gas. Yeah, you guys are generally pretty great. Bring in your own bird. Hey, hey buddy. Why don't you bring in your bird? Oh, oh, this is a Marwin. This is a Black Blade and a Marwin deck. Oh, look at that hunter just creeping back there. <laughs> He's lifting up the shade of the cosmos. 
I think I'll trade with this scholar actually. Eating a sandwich. I appreciate I appreciate your outlook, buddy. I like this because they can't syncopate it either. This can Marwin can have like five mana next turn. Six mana once we play a land. This is a this is a hell of a combo right here. You can feel it all over. <laughs> Saying there's no way there should be universal healthcare economically, it's impossible, is just comical. Like, it's done in so many countries that it's unbelievable. The audacity of Americans to be like, that would never work for my salary. Not for me. I make too much money for that. Like, okay, well, that's unfortunate because it works for lots of other countries. Lots and lots and lots. But not here. America's different. Oh, two lands. Uh, what? I clicked on it. Can we click on it? Okay, there we go. We did it. I'm just going to attack for six here. And then we're going to play double honor guard and guardians and bounce this. Disco Biscuits, good luck, buddy. Ooh, no attack with Cloud Reader Sphinx. I like that. Scoobity didn't do. I hope there's a thing. Hit a creature, hit a creature. Oh, we hit a Quende? That was a good hit. A Quende and a land is exactly what you want to be hitting. Pretty sure we 100% attack here. And then we can bounce Mending, or we can just play Quende. Other dude. No blocks. Intriguing. Or we can just go Honor Guard, Honor Guard. Oh, the rugged individualist American identity is a really interesting concept. I've never heard of that, but that sounds... That sounds on the nose. They're at seven. Is it just honor card? Like, I don't want to die to this guy getting an arcane flight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. But then they don't have anything on the board.
That's like saying we shouldn't legalize weed because the people, because the drug dealers on the corner would lose their jobs. Like, well, yeah, but they're not really helping the system in general. So. Give me them lands. Give me them sweet, sweet lands. This is a 10-10? God, I just want an arcane flight here for once. If you hate America so much, who hates America? Oh, God. Also, don't do that, man. Don't be the guy who's like, if you hate America, you can go to Canada. Like, you, you, you need to figure out the difference between hating something and then loving something and then wanting to improve that thing. Like, there's a difference between, like, like, if you're so dumb that you just accept something no matter what because you love it, that's not love. That's literally, uh, ugh, I don't know what it is. It's like just blind worship, man. Like, if you hate it so much, no one hates it. That's the point. If I hated it, I wouldn't care and I wouldn't try to improve it. <laughs> like, that's not how hatred works. We got nine mana here. They got a block. Got block things. That's just so infuriating. People are like, if you don't like it, you can leave. Well, I do like it. I want to improve it, actually. That's why I'm criticizing. So this guy kills you. This guy doesn't kill you. She kills you. So you got to block these two. Okay, okay, Quende. Quende, bloody Quende. Okay, okay, we're still alive, we're still alive. Are we dead? They have one card. Is it a f legendary flyer or a pump spell? And we did it. That was pretty sweet. What did they say? They said something. They said, thanks for the games, I believe. Where is it? Return to game. I'll say YouTube before they leave. Oh, I can't. I can't respond to my opponent because the match ended. That's that's a good system. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Sorry that the chat got a little more political than normal. I hope my my political my my radical political views didn't offend you. And uh, hopefully, we can keep the YouTube comments uh, civil because I will delete them if they're not. So thank you guys so much for watching. Though, I really appreciate it. If you want to support me on Patreon or on Twitch, you can check out the links below in the description. And uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. I'll see you next time.